Welcome back guys, it's EBA101 and I just have one question for you guys. Weren't you entertained? This is a fight that, you know, I had fight of the year. I, uh, it didn't live up to that, but it definitely had knockout of the year. This is Miguel Virchel versus Oscar Valdez. And here's the little small clip at the end of the fight with that devastating KO. And this is a big fight that happened, and I was I loved that it was on ESPN uh, free, so a lot of people could watch it. You know, a lot of these young, uh, uh, smaller weight classes are not really known by casual fans, so I do appreciate them uh, showing this and showing some love to to fighters at that this weight weight <coughs> this weight class, um, but. Oscar Valdez shocked, um, you know, a lot of experts. Uh, he was four to one, uh, betting odds coming into fight. I think towards the end of the fight, a lot of people were betting on Valdez. I think just because of the odds, and then they started getting closer. So I ended up being closer to two to one, still for Brichel. But Oscar Valdez has the little, sh you know, trying to quiet the critics. I chose Brichel to win, and I said fifty five percent for him it's a really um you know tough fight to call it i thought it was you know pick and fight uh i was rooting for oscar valdez i'm not gonna lie but, you know but i i'm gonna call it how i see it and i thought uh rochelle was gonna win this fight um but it was a very interesting fight uh the first round was kind of slow uh, oscar valdez was uh moving around trying to get uh the pace out there and Brichel is usually a slow starter either ways. Uh, but uh, then uh, Valdez started moving around, doing his boxing skills. That jab that he was flickering out there, uh, the the reach advantage didn't really show so much. Um, then uh, uh, the fourth round came where uh, Oscar Valdez really hurt Brichel. And then he was not going down. And then at one point the ropes held him up. His weight, his legs were wobbly. It was intense. I thought they were gonna stop the fight. They did it. It you know eight count uh, because the ropes held him up. Uh, the fifth round, I still Oscar was trying to go for the knockout. Hurt him a couple times, but but Chell's heart was just keeping him up. Uh, then in the sixth, seven, I think that's when Burchell was having his better rounds. Where he started pressuring and it seemed like Oscar Valdez was getting tired. Um, and this is where the big problem happened with Burchell. Started lunging in, throwing three, four shots because he his uh, defense was more off as it became at that point. You know, the more I shots I throw, Oscar, the less that Valdez is throwing at me. Uh, Valdez is still moving around. Valdez did a beautiful job of like holding when he needed to, moving around. I know a lot of people don't like holding, but he used it and he would still be able to be aggressive at times. And he started noticing every time that Valdez, the that Barchel start, you know, just throwing the punches, he started leaving his head right up there, right? So when it came to a knockout, and let's let's rewatch that one more time, you can see uh his Head was just out there to be knocked out. So he, he countered, hit him, and it was all over at that point. Um, a lot of people were saying, yes, this fight should have stopped a lot sooner. Uh, I kind of agree. Uh, Burchell was, you know, they asked him, do you want us to continue the corner? I know the corner was already there. I think the ref said that he was going to try to stop the fight after that round. Who knows, you know, because uh, we never got to see that. Look at him dancing around. I know a lot of people having doubts. So he's celebrating. He's having fun. You know, props to him. Uh, like I said, I had picked against him. But I thought it was a really close fight. And I was actually rooting for him. So um, that's good. You know, as my channel, I, I try to predict the, predict the fights on who I think is going to win. Not on who I'm rooting for. But I'll be always trying to be honest with you guys. Uh, my thoughts. Uh, with that. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, free fight and with that beautiful knockout. Uh, Oscar Valdez called out uh, Shakur Stevenson. That's a fight that I think Shakur's been wanting for a while. It's going to be a difficult fight, but 
man, with Eddie Reynoso doing this adjustments with Valdez, and um, I think it's going to be a closer fight than some people are saying because a lot of people are choosing Shakur Stevenson to win. But hopefully we get a lot more fights like this, more entertaining, more close fights. And, you know, hats off to both of them. And hopefully you guys still support support Burchell because he has the heart of, you know, of a champion. He, he was getting hurt and he was still walking forward because that's what he needed to do to try to get a win, right? Try to get a knockout. And he has so much power, uh, you know. Sometimes it didn't seem like he was thrown with so much conviction and he, his pop was, like, kind of stopping Valdez. So you the, the power was shown there. Uh, but Valdez later right he moved he was he had to do a lot of movement a lot of running around a lot of hugging to disrupt the timing of uh, Burchell and ended up paying off for him so uh, comment down below who you guys want to see Valdez fight uh, next and what you guys thought about this fight and this knockout do you guys think this is going to be the knockout of the year if not let me know which knockout so far uh, is better than this like, comment, subscribe.